Uh, Paul, thank you very much as we are ready to talk a little bit of Gigum with uh, Texas A&M head coach uh, Buzz Williams and, and Henry Coleman III. You guys, we remember the way last year ended with the NIT championship run, red hot in, in the SEC tournament. How much is, is it realistic to believe that that kind of momentum can tr transfer over through a summer, through a fall, and into the next season? Go ahead, Henry. I think, you know, like as a team, we need to have foresight. We need to focus on, you know, who we are right now in the moment. Um, it is a new year, and I think, you know, guys are invested into what we are doing right now, and we are living in the moment. We are preparing for uh, what is tomorrow, and we are everyday type of guys. Mm. Is there a motivation? I think everybody on the team has motivation okay. in, within themselves. I think that's the kind of people that coach recruits. Uh, guys are hungry, but I could say as an overall team, uh, we are hungry and we are motivated to be the best people we are each and every day. I heard you at the podium earlier. It still sticks with you a little bit, right? Not getting that chance to dance. Yeah, I mean, that's. I, I was just uh, sticking up for our, our group, mm -hmm. right? I, I don't think that it's necessarily the – uh, right thing to do for my career, but it's the right thing to do as a leader uh, for the people and families that I represent. Uh, you, you have to tell them the truth at all times, even when you're emotional. So all of my response was, was just an emotional truth telling, yeah. according to me. Doesn't mean that I'm yeah. right. Uh, but as Henry said, that's over. It's been over. Yeah. Um, and we, we have a lot of work in front of us. Look, you got all the extra games in the NIT. Yep. You got a ton of experience back with you, Radford. I yep. see over there uh, Wade Taylor, Andre Gordon. Like, not every team in this league has that. Right. Right. How much of a luck? It's all, and, and in this day and age, is it a bit of a luxury, coach, yep. to have that kind of experience? It's, it's, uh, it, it appears that way. You know, <laughs> having, having people that you know uh, that have been through this, uh, there is some competitive advantage just in that experience. Doesn't mean that we're good, doesn't mean that we're bad, but that we've been through it. Mm -hmm. There is some level of wisdom that comes with that. And I think our returning guys, um, a lot was put on them at an early time in their career. And so for them to go into this season and be able to lead our new guys, not that um, there, there's always an exact answer, but that they know what's coming and how we operate in October and what practices and how we work in the film room. I think all of those things are helpful. Do, do you think that's why it is attractive for these guys to come back in, sure. in, in a day and age where it almost seems like everybody's looking for something else, but you're able uh, to connect to these guys? Is that what the, I know there's no secret special sauce, but the key to, to want them to come back to keep learning and playing for you? Yeah, I think basketball is fun. Uh, but I think what all of this, like any other industry, it always comes down to relationships. That's it. Uh, basketball is what Henry does, but it's only a portion of who Henry is. It's only a portion of what he's about. And you could say that about Boots. You could say that about Four. You could say that about anybody. But, Pat, I think it's the same thing with the coaches. Uh, it's kind of like any other industry, yes, this is basketball, but really this is about trying to help people, and it's about those relationships. And so yeah. uh, the basketball is just kind of what brought us together, right. but it's not going to be what keeps us together. Right. That portal, you guys didn't go in it. You're staying put. A lot of guys did, and you're getting a lot. Dexter Dennis, Kalen Robinson, I'm looking at the names, Anderson Garcia, familiar name from Mississippi State, who's, who's made the move to you guys. Julius Marble from Michigan State. All of these guys want to be a part of this program. And I would suspect, Henry, they come to guys like you and say, what's it like playing for Buzz? What's it like being a part of, of Texas A&M basketball? What are those conversations like? Oh, you know, I'm happy those guys are here. I'm happy with the work they've put in over the summer. Uh, but when those guys come to me, you know, it's, it's the same answer. We're everyday guys. I think that separates us from, from other programs. Um, we prepare it every day. We come into work every day, and we're, you know, we're ready to go each and every day, whether that be film, whether that be, you know, a session with coach, um, whether that be weights or whether that be basketball. You know, we're going to be everyday type of people. And when you say session with coach, you talk about him lifting, right? Oh, yeah. His bench was up to about 350 last year. It's coach. more than that, Pat. <laughs> is it, Pat is we're it, trying we to hashtag get better. <laughs> <laughs> that was, that was you years shared ago. It, you shared it with us last year. It was over. It was well over. I don't remember what it Do you lift with these guys? You no, get in there? You I go don't? in early. You they go in after me. Have you tried to get him to lift with you? No, I don't think that's, that's uh, necessary. No. So, so how, how does that how does that motivate <laughs> you when, when you know, you know, you know, your coach had already been in the gym, yeah. lifting, 
maybe shooting, running sprints. How's that motivating you when you look over and you see him already put in three hours of work? You know, it's kind of like what Coach said, that relationship part. That shows the relationship that he has with us. It shows the, you know, you know the everyday type of guy that he's going to be because, you know, when you see your coach over there in 5 a.m., 4 a.m. lifting, um, you just got to you, – you just know. You know that, you know, he's ready to work. You know that he's been up uh, prepared. And so that just makes us want to get better and be more prepared. That, that We talked about it right off the top. That late season run you guys had. We enjoyed the heck out of it in the SEC tournament fun, and get to man. watch that. No doubt about it. I mean, it, you guys became the story of that of that tournament. What do you remember most fondly about it? That can play, because I know you're in the here and now, but what do you take from it that helps you here and now? I would say I said to Coach, I remember going into him right after um, everything had happened. I think it was probably about me. I said, I think, you know, that run, um, us playing hard, us losing the championship, that helped this program more than it hurt it. I think, mm -hmm. you know, it helped us realize where we are as a program, where we are as individuals, and where we are as a team. Um, and I think once we were able to realize that, that, you know, that's a kind of a culture shock, what they call it, you know, we were able to realize, and we were like, you know, this is where we are. Yep. Um, this is where we're shooting for, and this is what, you know, we need to do to avoid a situation, uh, to put ourselves in a better situation for next year. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.